is Sharon from the Cordova Branch Library, and we're going to share another story time. Today's stories are about birds. Birds come in all types of sizes, from smaller than your little finger to as big as 12 feet across. And birds live on every continent in the world. So there's lots of great birds to tell stories about. But before we start, you know we have to have our morning song. Here we go. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello. With the friends of story time, we wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello. With the friends of story time, we wave and sing hello. Good job, thanks for singing with me. Our first story is Bluebird's Nest. It's by Dorothea DePrisio. One morning, Bluebird sat on a fence post, thinking about her new project. She watched the leaves fall and sang a lovely song, ready to begin. First, the Bluebird gathered some bendy pine needles from the ground. She placed them in a hole in a nearby tree. Then a woodpecker offered Bluebird some loose bark from the tree. She added it to her collection of pine needles. An eagle flew by and dropped some feathers down to the bluebird. She chirped, thank you, before weaving them into the bark. During the winter, the bluebird continued to build her home. Other forest animals helped when it was cold. Bluebird sat on her nest all through the winter. She ate and slept and trimmed her feathers every day. One warm morning, the sun shone brightly in the meadow. Spring had sprung and Bluebird's nest was now complete. And just in time, she welcomed her family with a beautiful song. The end. Now you saw all through the book how the bluebird built her nest. And you can do that too. You can use fabric or paper and build your own nest. Something to keep your special things in, just like bluebird kept her special things in. It's an idea and it might be fun. Here we go, the end. Okay. Our next story is about a very silly bird named Confetti. It's by Collie Stileman. Let's see what this silly bird is doing. Confetti was hungry. Really, really hungry. I'm hungry, said Confetti to Jemima Giraffe. I love to eat luscious, lip-smacking leaves, said the giraffe. Try some. Yum, said the giraffe. Oh, yuck, said Confetti. I'll keep trying somewhere else. I'm hungry, said Confetti to the Zoe zebra. I like to eat green grass, said the zebra. Try some. Yum, said the zebra. Yuck, said Confetti. I'll keep trying. I'm hungry, said Confetti to Emma Elephant. I eat lots and lots of fabulous fruits and vegetables, said the elephant. Try some. Yum, said the elephant. Yuck, said Confetti. I'll keep trying. I'm hungry, said Confetti to Christopher Crocodile. So am I, said the crocodile. Well, maybe not that hungry, said Confetti. And she flew on her way. I'm hungry, said Confetti to Madison Monkey. I eat delicious, delicious nuts, said the monkey. Try some. Yum, said the monkey. Yuck, said Confetti. I'll keep trying. Confetti's mom came home with a wiggly worm, a beautiful beetle, a greedy spider, a creeping clawing caterpillar, and a skinny stick insect. Yum, said Confetti. Yuck, said the other animals. Everybody has their own favorite. 
I have to say though, I don't think I would want to eat worms and stick beetles and spiders and caterpillars. I'll leave that for a confetti. The end. Now, this is my very favorite bird story of all time. And I'm so excited to share it with you today. Here we go. I'm a little baby bird wondering how to fly. See my grandma in the sky. Why can't I? Why can't I? I see my grandpa in the sky. Why can't I? Why can't I? Mama whispers, hush a by by and by you'll fly. Daddy sings a lullaby, by and by and by. Sister says, why don't you try? Flap your wings and try. So I flap my wings and try. And soon I'm in the sky. Look at me, way up high. I can fly, I can fly. Below me is a baby bird. She sees me in the sky. I can almost hear her sigh. Why can't I? Why can't I? Down, 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 way down I fly and say, why don't you try? I watch her flap her wings and try. And soon she's in the sky. Look at us way up high. We can fly, we can fly. Below us, baby birds call, why, why can't I, why can't I? hush a -bye, we tell them, hush a -bye. you will fly, you will fly. You will fly by and by, by and by and by. The end. Have you ever wondered how they fly? I have. I've often wondered if I could fly, but I don't think I can. But it's fun to imagine things like that. Now, we don't have time for a craft today, but I brought one to show you that you can do at home. You can make a bird feeder to hang in a tree. All you need is one paper plate and a half a paper plate and hang it by some string. Then you can hang it on the string and watch the birds eat from the bird feeder that you made. Now, I decorated one to show you, but of course yours will look much better. See, this is mine. You could put the bird seed right inside and they'll eat it. And since it's made out of paper plates and cotton string, you don't have to worry about pollution because it'll take care of itself. And when it starts to fall apart, you can pick it up, and put it in the recycling bin and make another one. Birds love to eat everything, worms and caterpillars, I don't think so. But the bird seed in the bird feeder will feed them just fine. That's all. Thank you for joining us. Now, let's finish with a goodbye song. Here we go. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them just like this. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, blow a little kiss. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, try to touch the sky. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Time to wave goodbye. Goodbye, thanks from the Cordova Library and your Memphis Public Library. And we'll share stories again soon.